Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good today on this fabulous week. And since I didn't make a video over the weekend, happy belated Mother's Day to all the ladies and the beloved ladies um, or with child or whatever. Um, my video today is about my new beginnings as a twin flame and all my experiences I've been dealing with so far. Um, lately, I have just been dealing with a lot of different emotions, like stuff that I thought I was healed from and let go of. That stuff just keeps constantly coming back. <laughs> so it's stuff that I have to deal with on dealing with this Kundalini. I mean, since the oneness thing, I, man, you talking about this heart chakra, I swear I thought I was about to die. I thought my heart was about to crack out of my chest. <laughs> so, it's like dealing with this, it's just like my dad comes in now and then, and it's like I get to these rage emotions where I need to freaking scream. I don't know if you guys go through this, but it is just so crazy when you have to go through so many different emotions and I guess it's just reality sitting in and um it's just been really crazy because it's just like you know what Prince is your dad and you never got a chance to deal with them like that and it, it was just like so emotional for me um I was talking to my um soul spiritual sister Jen um she please go over to her her page and support her um me and her it's just like we're kind of going through the same journey you know of a new life and it's just going through tragic things I always brings you closer to people like I was telling her like I've known known for people like 15 20 years and it's like I really can't talk to them about certain things. It's just, uh, you know, it's just like people that you have dealt with for so long. If you have had to deal with a situation like, um, well, technically not like mine, but anything that is very tragic, it, it just seems like with me, people start cutting off left and right. Like I had to go through this journey by myself. <laughs> like my dad said, you're on your own. <laughs> so I was technically on my own. Well, not on my own you know, by myself, but spiritually, I knew, always knew I wasn't by myself, and it took me a minute to uh, really realize that, and it's just like all these different stages of Kundalini, I'm telling you, it's just like when you deal with it, and it's just with my, I guess it's just with the separation, like if my dad's essence goes away, all right here, oh my gosh, it, it, it just hurts really bad, it just feels like really bad indigestion, or if you went swimming and you know you weren't supposed to be eating and jump back in a pool or a lake or whatever you were going into and then you caught that cramp, that's what it feels like probably about five or ten times worse. It's going to make you feel like you're having a daggone heart attack. And I was just like, I had to read up on this stuff like, you know, I wasn't feeling this way until after, you know, the union. And I was just like I said, they always tell you to glorify things <laughs> about the twin flame and everything. But when you're having to deal with past aggression or any kind of built up emotions that you have thought you had surpassed or whatever, it's just things that's been coming up back from when I was a newborn. Now, that's not fair. <laughs> I'm just like, God, dog, why am I still dealing with stuff like this? I am so tired of crying, and I just hear my dad say, baby, please don't cry. I hate, it to, I hate to see you cry. And it, it's just like, I know I have to heal. And I just hear him keep on telling me, baby, let it go, let it go. And I just went to screaming, and I just felt like I wanted to pull my freaking hair out. Like, I just wanted to destroy something. And I was just telling my girl, Jen, you know, yesterday, I said, I don't want to be making videos when I'm like that. Because I try to send positive videos. I don't want y'all seeing me all crazy. You know, it's good when you can see, like, different emotions from a person just to let you know you know it is okay to cry it is okay to scream if you have to go scream into a pillow and go punch the hell out of it go do that if that makes you feel better but don't go hurt nobody don't do that <laughs> um but it is just like when you go through stuff like that and you get this ang anger built up anger and it starts like it feels like a volcano about to erupt Please make sure you buy yourself. <laughs> don't don't try to get anybody you know involved. It's just something you have to go by your 
do by yourself because I noticed a lot of times with me going through this I did not want to be by myself I did not want to be alone with my thoughts and I'm just like why is everybody leaving me you know I, I've just felt this way my whole life and I'm just like why is it happening but looking at it from now even though I go through my my you know my symptoms or whatever go through these body aches I'm so tired it's just like dealing with so much and trying to stay strong it is like I was telling Jen the other day it just seems like it takes more energy just for you to stay positive as well as it is just for you to be negative about some situations it's like almost a balance so it's like I feel so much better it makes me a better person because anybody who has known me for years no I can be negative I can be fighting I, I can just do this and this and that but it's just like I try to stay calm but you know there's some things that will get to you like pressure buttons you know they're always that one person that just likes to get all up in there but I always try to stay away from them because <laughs> I know how I am so it's just like I don't have time for all stuff like that because I it was talking I was talking to a a girl I know from high school and she was just like me and her I got into it a while ago or bump heads or whatever and we went about her business she was asking me you know um, are you mad at me I'm like girl I ain't got time to be so here be mad at you about anything it's just when you spend so much energy about that you, you it's like you're blocking your blessings just pray for them if they have done something bad to you please I prayed so hard for my family and then knowing I just wanted to rip them apart but it was just like you can't do that you know I know how bad you want to do that but you're gonna be on their level and I don't want to be that way I want to be better than that I want to be a better person just not let the situation that I have define me I'm like yeah I'm princess daughter or whatever but I'm just like the girl next door you know I like to have fun I dress up I act silly act stupid you know it's just life's too short for you to sit up here and be miserable you know like Rihanna said they're gonna talk about you while you're doing bad or good you know, but, hey, let them make you famous. But <laughs> I'm just like, I just really don't care what people think anymore. It, it's just when you learn to live your life as long as you make yourself happy and you're not hurting somebody in the process, then you're doing your job. You know, I, I try to make videos and, you know, let people know you're going to go through things, but don't get stuck there. You know, it's not healthy. It's, you know, um, you really don't want to be stuck there. You want to be... A better person than you were yesterday that's the only person I compete against I said I never try to compete against people I just try to compete against myself to make you know hey you did this yesterday try to be a little bit better today so I meditate you know as much times as I've been working I have to push myself to go outside and you know walk around and um, you know clear my head and it's just a lot of times it, it was like especially on Mother's Day it was very emotional for me because it's just like dag I'm going once a year you know I mean not once a year but this year again you know my mom's past you know you I want to meet my mom my biological mom and you know the doctor mom that I got I don't even want to deal with her because <laughs> of the situation I'm in right now so it's just like you know I let let go and let God and show a lot of love and blessings for it that way but you know it's just not i want real love when it comes to family and all that and i, I say my affirmations every day i pray to god um that i be reunited with my family because it's just i know it has to happen it's just meant to be um and i know uh something is just like shifting i was just telling jen the other day i'm like look there's something going on because i get just get so excited i don't know if i'm getting closer to my family or what but i just get so excited and i'm just like gosh well, i'm just so happy and it's just like the last time when me and my dad had this contact it was like i was so nervous and acting you know all the little screams he does i was kind of like Ow! you know <laughs> getting all nervous like oh my god is that you he's like yes babe that's me and i was just like oh my god you know and i get so happy i was acting like one of you know somebody meeting us well he is a celebrity but i don't know how i felt but it was just like one of those type things when you're actually meeting you know because my dad was my first person on the bucket list list for me to meet and it, it was just like it was so exciting and emotional and i couldn't believe it and it's just weird because this whole situation i mean i have these times where i zone out and i'm just like i just see him all around me and my body's just like moving you know like he's 
messing with my body or whatever, like pushing me different ways or whatever. And I'm like, that's not funny. <laughs> you know, he probably play around. Like he does a lot of pranks. He is still funny. Even over in the past life, he's still funny. So, um, you know, he tries to make me laugh a lot. So, um, he's, his, his essence and his spirit is very strong. I hear a lot of people say, you know, Prince is contacting me or, you know, connecting with me or I feel his essence here. That man was loved in so many different places and so many different walks of life. And I mean, that really makes me feel good. So, I mean, this whole situation, even though it is messed up, it has, it was a blessing in disguise. And it's weird to say it's a, it was a blessing in disguise because my my <laughs> my life was going spiral, down spiral, and it's just you know when all this comes out, I, I'm being a real person. I, you don't have to go searching you know the web or whatever. I'm telling you my business myself, so it's just like you can't talk about me if I'm already you know telling you about myself. You know you might be able to sit, talk about me after I said it, but at least I was bold enough to say it. Um, you know I'm I'm the real deal. You know I'm. People are people. You have a, a past, but it doesn't have to define who you are today. And I'm not going to let that do. You know, I've done things in the past I'm not proud of, but it brought me here to tell my story. Um, it's just like I had tragedies back to back to back to back. And I can still have a smile on my face and just say, you know, yeah, I lost my, my adopted mom, my sister, you know, my dad. My dad was everything to me, but I didn't lose him. It was just like I gained him. But it it makes me appreciate life because I, I used to I used to hate waking up. I'm just like, God, take this pain away. I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. And it made me appreciate life. It made me appreciate waking up in the morning because there are so many people that are struggling with illnesses that it hurts them just to breathe in the morning. Or, you know, they're struggling just to get up. So I, I take I take that with heat and I it, it has really made me humble to where I just love life, you know, even though the pain gets unbearable and I don't want to deal with it anymore, I know I have to. So it has made me a better person, but I'm telling you, if you go through a Kundalini stage, first of all, if you don't have any heart problems, if you feel like you do, please go to the hospital. But it, it, it makes you, it gives you these vibrations that goes up and down your back. And sometimes um, I feel it at the crown of my head, like this vibration, it feels like it's shaking and it, you know, I feel it right here in the middle of my head and then goes, you know, it can either go to your shake up sacred chakra or root chakra or whatever they want to call it or in, in your heart and you'll start having all these different emotions that are coming up like past things or how you felt strongly about something and let it go. Just let it go. I mean, I, I the other day I had to pull, I was like, ah, you know, I was about to pull my hair out. But I felt so much better afterwards. I screamed. I cried. You know, I was just like, it's not fair. I want to be home with my family. But I just feel like, you know what? The countdown has started. So you never know what might happen in the next few days. I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I keep having dreams about me being at this celebration. I keep seeing my tarot cards for Tauruses and Geminis. They keep on saying, you know, my dad's a Gemini. They keep on saying you're having this close connection. Um, and you're going to be celebrating a father's birthday, but my dad never celebrated his birthday. He always said he'll celebrate mine before he celebrate his. Um, but then I was just thinking maybe that's what it is, you know, um, might be a big birthday surprise for me. I don't know. I hope and pray, you know, because I say I've really been wanting to be with my family. I've done the work. I, you know, I did my research. I talked to these people. I said something got to, something good got to come out of this. You know, and it's just like making these videos, you know, letting you guys know it is okay. You know, even though the world is in chaos right now, it doesn't always have to stay that way. You know, it, it just shouldn't take for somebody to come up dead or shot, you know, by, you know, gang violence or police or whatever the violence is or whatever. We should not have to come together for that. We should come together every day. It should not take something tragic 
you know, for somebody to get hurt or killed or whatever. We should be able to come together in love and light. Um, because I don't know what's going on, but it is just like I was telling Jim the other day. There is something shifting. I, I, I get excited. I get happy. I get scared. You know, um, but it's mainly happy and excited lately. It's not the nervous. You know, I get nervous a little bit, but I still have faith in things that are going good. But... It's just some major shift that's going on. So I, I just had to make sure. I'm like, what is going on? You know, is anybody else feeling this way? And it's just like, yeah. <laughs> so it, it's just like now, since more of my awakening and me with all the senses I have with, um, it's like not euphoria, but um, epiphanies. Or, you know, it, it's just like I keep seeing like visions, even when I'm awake, of being with my dad and being around a group of people and it's like a party and I'm just like yes you know what is this it's like it's all for you this is a prize <laughs> so I'm just like okay so I'm, I'm hoping and praying that's what it is but um I hope everybody's having a good day you know if you guys are going through any kind of kundalini and you're going through some bad situations please take a nature walk pray meditate scream if you have to but make sure you try to do it by yourself you never want to you know lash out on somebody that has nothing to do with it you know that'll be karma coming back on you so i always try to make sure i'm by myself i try to stay um stay to myself and be able to handle things because you're not going to always go through stuff like this and i always tell myself that your days are better your blessings are here you see it more and more every day so until you get to that big giant one that you've been waiting for for years so i hope you guys have a good day and i love you my beloved and i will talk to you soon with peace love and light be wild